We're building a shipping container workshop for our off-grid homestead. Yeah. Let's catch you up. We made a solid gravel base and installed screw piles for a foundation. With our challenging terrain, these screw piles should stand the test of time and will be resistant to shifting, protecting our shipping container workshop as we are going to be connecting two 40-foot shipping containers together with trusses to make an enclosed area. Do I ever have the coolest trick for all of you? This. How cool is that? No scratch, no nothing, just this little knife. I see a lot of people online use heat guns. This is all you need. It's coming off like butter. How satisfying was that? The sound too. There's one problem. We don't have the connector plates for the screw piles yet. So everyone cross your fingers that they come in the mail. I was thinking we should write the pack. We could write like, yeah, like the pack workshop. If you need a bigger ladder, let me know. Oh, I might need a bigger ladder. Just tell me. <clears throat> Oh yeah. You have a tail. I know, I made it. You made yourself a tail? Nice. Oh yeah. That was a big one. She's back with everything we need. We have a big bucket of paint, and that's because we have a big project to paint. There's not just one of these containers. There's soon going to be two containers, hence the screw piles on each side. We're choosing to reuse shipping containers for this build as it's a cost-effective approach to construction and storage. It reduces waste by repurposing steel containers that would otherwise sit unused. Containers are durable, secure, and widely available. They offer a ready-made structure that requires minimal modification. They can be transported easily and provide instant shelter. <laughs> Don't fear, it's very different. This is actually hard to tell, but it is a light brown color. <laughs> yeah, this is like yellowy. <laughs> this is yellowy. And, then and we got a nice big paint gun. Turn the power switch on. You have to plug it in. Oh, wow. You know you're too deep in the instructions, Len. <laughs> Let's see how loud it is. I'm very interested. Not bad. 30 seconds. 28. 29. 30. Now submerge suction tube into paint, right. turn the power switch on, and watch for paint to come out the drain tube. Turn power switch off. Rotate spray tip to unclog position. Unlock trigger lock. Oh, do you have to spray the right way, Chris? You're gonna spray us. That's what I thought. That's, yeah, you're gonna spray us. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, that looks like it comes out of there. Oh gosh. Are we sure? A hundred percent. And now are you ready for the next step? Painting time? In capital letters. You are now ready to spray. Spray. Of a painting business with this gun. You know why this paint gun is also really good? It's because this is the heaviest part of it. A lot of other paint guns, you have to carry the paint in your hand, and after a while, whew. I really like this color, by the way. I just turned the gun up, and Jocelyn is losing it. <laughs> okay, ready? There's high mode! She wanted me to do this all day. Ready, watch it go. Oh! And it gets better. It still goes higher if you want it to. Whoa, put it up. I want to try. You ready? Uh, I'm just seeing different glasses. I'll be right in a second. Oh. <laughs> we went with a single trip 40 foot high cube shipping container. These are used for massive shipping agents who ship products all around the world. This container has only had one purpose so far, which was to ship goods. There's not a lot of rust, there are not a lot of dents, and that's going to prolong the life of our machine shed. And in the long run, because we are repurposing this container and giving it a new life, that is all very important because we want to turn it into something completely new like a machine shed. Girl, you're killing it. You're almost done. I know. 
<laughs> I can't get over this gun. It looks so good. Definitely I should have started at the back though. Why? <laughs> the I know I got really good, eh? The front's really streaky and you're really good. I'm exposing you, but look Expose how good. Expose my good part too then. Look how good. Actually, you know what made me buy this gun is I was at the gas station and this guy was, well, I was actually talking to Krista, but um, he was saying that he painted his house in five hours with this gun and his neighbor was using a roller and it took him weeks, if not a month. This entire 40 foot by eight wall just got sprayed in, I honestly would say less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Was that like six minutes? I should really time the other side. That was incredibly fast. Going back, this is just like the tractor and the excavator. This is something I would have purchased right away. We could have sprayed the entire bunkie with this. Yeah. My turn. How do you like it? I love it. You can really see the color difference on this side because it's not in the sun. Not the sun, yeah. Yeah. It's a very pretty color. Very pretty. We didn't want to go too dark because we know that underneath the roof would be then very dark. So we wanted to keep it light, but we also wanted to keep it like nice and earthy so it blends in with the wood. So this is a nice light brown color. I really like it. ladder with this gun. So that's the little one and then we have this extendy bit So we're just gonna plop on right here. Supervisors! Hello from the future or shall I say hola. Hey Izzy, how's my supervisor girl? No matter where we're going, Sundays is coming with us. Sunday starts with human grade high quality ingredients which they air dry into these bite sized pieces that are jam packed with nutrition that your dogs will love. Wow, just like a shark. We all love our dogs so much and we know that if we want them to live the longest and healthiest lives they can, it starts with adequate exercise and a whole food source diet. Sundays makes this a priority. It is human grade dog food and there are zero synthetics and zero fillers. Beef bone, beef liver, beef heart. Very, very, very good things for your dog in this bag. They're on a mission to become the world's healthiest and most convenient dog food. No prep, no mess, no refrigeration required. It is shelf stable and it's easy to feed. Click the link in the description and use code VANWIVES for 50% off your first order. Thank you, Bella and Izzy. Can you believe it? What, that we're here? We're <laughs> on the last side. It was so fast. I can't believe it actually. It's so sick. Like it actually, I'm not lying, painting just got, like that old gun we had, like our old gun, our, our first gun. Not fun. So slow, mm -hmm. not a good spray. No. This actually makes painting, this is beyond. I know. This beyond. is so much more than painting. Yeah. This could be a hobby. We've changed our method a bit. We have are experimenting. We put the gun to vertical, so now we're just going up and down instead of side to side. And I think this is a better method because when you do the bottom, you're so low. I mean, it's a good exercise. We did some squats today. What can I say? But anyways, I think we're gonna stick to the vertical method. That looks clean. It's so nice. It's just such an, a consistent amount of paint going on. I've just never seen something. It looks like it's gone through like a car factory where they spray them. Yeah. Like it's just so consistent and perfect. It looks so good. You want to tell them what's going on? We are going to paint this container. We've already <laughs> painted it. You've been sleeping. We're going to paint this container as fast as we can. Are you ready? Let's do it. Put a timer on, please. You got it. Go. Actually, we're gonna keep going. I forgot. It just looks so good. 
<laughs> I was just standing here and I was like, I need to tell everyone. Like, I know you're all thinking it, but I need to verbalize it. Can I know what time we're at? We had a malfunction, so. We had a major malfunction that took up most of the time. Did this get pushed down or something? What? That C? I don't know, I haven't touched it. I feel like this is spray. Nothing. Okay, so we'll prime it again. We had to prime it twice. 27 minutes. Should I stop and restart? No. And see how I'm no, because it's a part of the process. We're not trying to go fast or anything. We're trying just to see how it is with the gun. Okay. 27 minutes to do the first two sides if that was with a malfunction. Now we're starting at 31. So we'll see how long it takes to do two sides if there is no malfunction. Can you help me? I already got a malfunction. Like my sweater. Yeah, you do look. <laughs> I think the like think about the front of this though. Like if you were to do this with a brush or a roller, it would Ew. be so intricate and it would take streaky. Forever. Like we just thought about it. Like paintbrushes and rollers are a paintbrush is twenty dollars. So expensive. Sometimes twenty five. <laughs> like I actually have to admit, the only thing I don't like buying in the hardware store is paintbrushes and paint rollers. Like it yeah. hurts me. It hurts my card. Like it hurts my soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you save money with this personally and time. So time. This would have taken us days to paint, by the way. This comes with like a solution that you, li it's so, it's so amazing. It's like this blue solution. You basically just spray the gun until no paint comes out and then put this blue solution in. They thought of it all. Who are we calling now? The shipping container company. Yeah. Hi, I'm just calling as I placed an order for a can and paid for it um, a week ago. Yeah, you might get a hold of Okay. Yeah, you do want that right away. Turn around quick, turn around. You paid for it right away. Yeah, the only reason why I'm concerned is because I'm leaving the country yeah. very shortly, so I have a very small window to receive it. So if I need it, like, immediately. Yeah, I will call them right now. Okay. I will call them right now because I know I saw them every week. You will. Yes, I'll, I'll call them right away. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been on the phone trying to get a hold of these guys all week. Well, let's explain. Normally, when you order a can, if you pay for it right away, it comes literally... Right away. Yeah. It's a, it is a large sum of money to send away. Like, yeah. you're not buying a pack of guns. And there's a like, lot... No, and there's a lot of scams online, which tons, is like... Tons, Like, yeah. all the Facebook marketplace, you have to be so cautious because everyone... Sea cans are a great way to try and scam someone because it's such a big oh. item, right? And they're so heavily wanted that, like... People put deposits on things and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, we know that this is a reputable place to buy them. However, it's been a week, so... Like, and we can't get a hold of the... It's concerning. The delivery people and the can people op operate differently, so... Are you available this afternoon to accept delivery of the other container? Yep. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Love to hear it. Many hours later. Yeah, so they had a problem with their machine at the air loading it. For, we're going to... Reload it on a different truck and bring it first thing tomorrow morning. I came to leave a note. Someone's already got one. Perfect. Good morning. Container is moments away from being here. We're bouncing our way down the driveway because we're gonna go watch them unload this 40 foot container from an 18 wheeler and put it on a smaller truck. Why wouldn't we? That's like the perfect morning entertainment. <laughs> When you say? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bummed. See you later, breakfast television. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen wheeler just arrived with the forty foot container. <laughs> Thank goodness that we did get this second truck the first time, and now this second time, obviously, because our road is unmaintained and it is super narrow, and there's a lot of low hanging trees and tight turns. You're dressed for winter. Yeah, it's really cold today. <laughs> I really wish they came yesterday. It was twenty degrees. You can go like this. <laughs> You gotta keep the motor moving. We're leaving at the right time. <laughs> Burr! and cold. That is one strong winch to be able to pull a container that heavy from one truck to the other. I like big trucks and I cannot lie. Winch's hydraulics got me feeling fly. What? Winch's hydraulics got me feeling fly. I'm not good like you. But that's why you're trying to throw a container. We got the first
first container dropped off, all of a sudden we looked at our window and it was already down our driveway. And my brain has been puzzled. One, how they transfer it from an 18 wheeler to a small truck, and now I know. And my brain was also puzzled with how they got it from our road into our driveway. We're currently sitting on the edge of our seats. That's our driveway. That's where they'll be coming. And we're finding out how they did this. Do you hear them? Okay, that was the most anticlimactic thing in the world. All they did was pull in. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll keep moving on. Let's go. Let's go. Won't stop till we get to the top. No. Okay, we're discussing where is the best place to put it, and. We want to make sure that the machines are still able to go around over top of these screw piles. Such a good driver. Like, absolutely legendary. Keep moving. I keep moving, yeah, yeah. I keep moving. I keep moving, yeah, yeah. Look how close that is. And look how close that one is. We're literally squeezed in the middle with the electrical line and the drain what a good driver what a good driver that's a team effort now that you can see them side by side our like our paint job looks so good and i love the color so much stellar it's really neat how these trucks work because every component is isolated so he was able to move the deck and not hit any of the lines but without having to like drive it's just so neat let's go. we'll keep moving on up let's go Bye, thank you. Well, it came. <laughs> yeah, it did. It came before we had to leave. Wow. All right, we can all picture it right now. One container on those piles, the second container on those piles, and a beautiful indoor space. This container is the same as this container. 40 foot high cube, one single trip only. So it's in pretty good condition. All the doors work, hardly any dents, hardly any rust, just needs. A nice little paint job. But I think we might need to wait until 12 p.m. when the world heats up, because right now it's eight degrees. But our paint can actually work at three degrees. I just don't think I can. Does anyone know how you can locate where this container has been? I'd love to know where it was. Yeah, and if you know how to do that, let us know in the comments. I'm gonna take a picture of all the writing so we know. It'd be really cool to know its life. And now it has a new life out here in the woods. We're on a mission to find the most economical way and the best way to move a shipping container. And here goes Crystal calling every company in the world. I'm looking to inquire about the price of a crane to lift a 40 foot high cube shipping container. And I have two of them that I need to be lifted. Hi, hi, hi. See, That's what I need, wheel it into place. Do you rent larger excavators, like a 14 ton? Uh, this one has been 8 ton. So Larry just texted me, if you're wanting to lift a container, a boom truck is the best way. New option! Hi, I'm just calling as I'm looking to see if you have a boom truck that could lift a 40 foot shipping container. Really close. Yeah, we do. Is it loaded or empty? Uh, it's empty and I'm only moving it about 4 feet. It just has to be moved onto a foundation and I actually have two of the containers. Plus tax per hour. So cool. Honestly, that company I was just talking to, like I feel like they typically are like, we'll be there the next day, but they are just booked tomorrow by chance and it's a Saturday, so. It's okay, I, I think at least just knowing our options. Also, it would be really bad if we booked them for tomorrow and then our tops actually didn't come in today. We also need to level those tops, you know? Also, the boom track not only is the best option, but it's the most economical option. The crane actually was more economical too, only because it is right there. Anyways, that was fun. I love getting prices and quotes and figuring it all out. Warm enough to paint, but it's a little too cold for Jazz and Crystal. If I do say so myself. Nice outfit. Mm. Wet glove. So, what do you think? Cute or cute? Are we talking about our outfits again? <laughs> <laughs> you just we are using 
our favorite tool, the paint gun. For the second time. Today is the last day our screw pile foundation caps can come in. Like we all know, Bill has said they are projected to come in today. It would be amazing to get these containers up on the foundation before winter. Yeah. But I may have said this before with this project, we're kind of just rolling with the punches. A lot has changed with the project as we've gone along and there's so many yeah. moving parts and people involved that um, it's one of those things where the container comes when the container comes, the things get here when they get here, so you just keep rolling the punches. And but there's so much to do before they even come. Another game plan right now is Crystal is going to paint over there while I remove stickers because we're going to go double time, hammer time, spray gun time. I don't know if you can see this, but there is water dripping down. I've even taken a cloth and gone along and like, tried to get all the water from the top edge. Um, but it looks like it's, I just can't get every single droplet because one droplet makes such an impact on a beautiful paint job. And this spray gun is doing a fantastic job. So last thing we need is water droplets through our paint job. So thank goodness that these droplets are at the very back of the container here. Cause I still have all this way to go. And while I'm at it, look at that gorgeous blue sky. Another thing about single containers is because we're not like welding them together or anything, they're going far apart. The roofs actually go on a slant automatically for a runoff. So it's pretty obvious we won't get the roof on these containers this year, but that's not to worry because when you're using one container, you don't have to have a roof on it because the roof is naturally slanted. Kind of like if you were to build a deck, you'd put it on a little bit of an angle. So that way water runs off of it or anything for that matter, which I think is really cool. Cause I was always wondering if you just have one container and you want to build like a deck on top, like how is that possible without runoff? And that's just simply because it's already on a slant. They are also able to handle a lot of snow load. And that's why you don't need to build a roof over a single container. We're back at it. You really saved me the best side, eh? <laughs> you know what's funny? What? When I was doing it, I thought it would be better because there'd be less wind in there. But now that I see it, I don't think it is. Not enough fingers crossed. Our screw pile container plates to place the containers have been lost in shipment, but we have a temporary solution. Those are some nice boots you got there, girl. Why, thank you. If you wonder how we spend our Saturday nights, we went <laughs> steel toe boot shopping. They went for a little date dinner. PSA, what you put on your feet is super important. We learned so much about work boots. It was such a fun Saturday. And I'm just so stoked to have laces, the support, the, the soul, everything we learned is, I'm just, I'm ready to put these to work this winter. There's a lot of work in our future in the next few months. And I feel very good about it now. They're so sick. <laughs> and they're so sick. It's so important. Matchy, matchy. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Got a little bit different, you know? But Booby likes my color better. <laughs> Told you. Remember when we didn't know how to open these doors with yeah. our container? Give her gas, girl! It's fun! We are leaving for the winter and the ATVs are not going to be full of snow. You can see my breath, eh? Sorry, no, it's not that. It's just, yeah, I'm I'm eating right you're here. saying, we're leaving for six months and you have a smile ear to ear and I know you're excited know. to go, but I know you're actually smiling. I know you're actually smiling because you were putting these in here. Yeah, 
and this is like the first year they're gonna have the best winter of their lives other than when we got to use them but machines just don't like to sit out and just be full of everything they want to get used or they just want to be hibernating in a shelter go containers go um what we're doing now is if you leave obviously the vehicle disconnect the battery and i'm probably going to bring the battery in our workshop it's heated and maybe even put a trickle tra charger on it so i don't have to buy a new battery next year and just doesn't die so i'm going to do that right now next one Bella, how's the supervisor today? This is really gonna be the first winter out of all the years we've been here that our machines are out of the elements, the wind, the rain, and the sun. So we're very, very excited. Although clearly the workshop isn't done, we still have shelter, so this is huge. Nice. Oh, that's in the way easier mount. Yeah, good job, BPR. BRP? Can oh. <laughs> Can't am. Have a good winter. A lot of people don't know that Jasmine actually drives the dirt bike. <laughs> and we filmed it. We have showed it before in past vlogs, but I've seen quite a few comments of people saying, show us riding you that bike. So here you go. Nice. I got myself a mat for mechanics. My neighbor had one and I thought that was genius. Sweet. Little battery. What a cutie. Is that like a replica? It's so cute. So cute. Some of you may not know why we're even disconnecting and removing these batteries in the first place if you've never done this before. The reason why is because with winter upon us and the freezing below zero temperatures, it's really not good for the battery to be outside, especially lead acid because it can activate the water in them and it can freeze and make the battery basically useless. Cold is really not good for batteries, and the last thing you want is to destroy your battery over one winter. So, removing them, putting them in a temperature control workshop like we are, is going to prolong their life. Job, my love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. This is amazing. Every year we pay for our vehicles to be stored, and I just can't believe we're storing them on our own property this year. Out of the snow, wet, cold winter months, they're safe indoors. Now we just hope there's no mice living in any of those machines. Beautiful. Gonna miss you. Are you going to have snow? Look, you're exactly nice if you're looking for it. Oh, wow. I was. Wow, Clementine is gonna be out of the winter. That's so wild. I know, eh? Some of you are probably thinking, okay, big deal. You put a tractor in a shipping container. But I know there are so many of you also who will understand. <laughs> This is a really big milestone. Having a sheltered area to put the tractor in is such a big deal and it's only gonna get better. Oh yeah, it just keeps getting better. Next spring, wow. Yeah, she's gonna have a big machine shed. She has a, she has a house bigger than our house coming soon. Okay, well, we Woo! made it this far. That's a win. And guess what everyone? What? <laughs> you better put those back on. You're going to a sunny place. Adios. Amigos. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. Woo!